Welcome to Two Weird Patterns That Just Might Make Your Ale Coat Faster. Hey, I'm Eric, and this story starts a long time ago. I um, I did a video, um, this one, long, long time ago, uh, about ale not being a lazy language, and by lazy I actually meant that it's not using short circuit evaluation, meaning that if you have if, a or B or C, then if A is fault, then there's no reason to evaluate B or C. Um, and um, this topic was revisited uh, not long ago on uh, on Twitter by um, by my good friend Natalie. Um, and let's see if we got her here. So you should follow Natalie on Twitter. She has this amazing talent of uh, spotting when Microsoft changes stuff in the documentation and, and new, new things are, are added. So she's a constant source of useful information. Um, so follow her on Twitter. And if you feel like you perhaps follow, make sure that you're a subscriber to, uh, to the YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter if you want to. But uh, uh, for this video, I think it's more important that you actually follow Natalie. Uh, there's some good information there. Anyway, um, she brought up two patterns that uh, potentially or can, you know, emulate the uh, the lazy evaluation or the short circuit uh, short circuit uh, evaluation. And she said, "Hey, maybe perhaps a video is coming." And I guess if you're seeing this this video is coming uh, so let's actually jump straight into the the topic of today so let's create some functions here um, condition one returns a boolean and this is a good one you know this returns false and fast but let's create one more condition two this one also returns a boolean but this one is terrible because it takes five seconds to figure out that something is not the what we want and perhaps we even have condition three and um wow what did i do there boolean and then we'll go down here and, and you know, this one is also one of those annoying things before it figures out that boo boolean, boolean. There we go. So now we have three conditions. So if we, um, if we, let's, um, let's, let's write a line of code here. Um, we could go with if condition one or if not condition one or, and this is when I type or, we all, I always get the uh, the wrong intelligence and asking Microsoft, they never, they always get or, but f for some reason I always get security operation result. Um, so I don't know why, but that's me. There you go again. Um, then message no. Uh, we could actually let's let's put a time on this because we do it on own page, so it can't be hard. Oh, wow, it can be hard to see what happens. So let's do a um, start time, which is a well, we can just do time and do start time equal clock. And here we will do a, wow, clock minus start time, uh, which is not a function. And it's not called clock, it's called time. Too many different languages sometimes. Okay, so let's try this because th this this is the way if you would would do it in 
whatever language uh, that has short circuit evaluation or is lace of whatever label we put on it. Um, and now let's see. Getting ready, getting ready. I should have not have used five seconds. Five seconds is a long time when you're recording a video and looking at the screen. Five plus five seconds is even longer. But we spent 10,025 milliseconds on, on this if statement, um, which is not a surprise because I did a whole video on, 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 on that. And, and if it is a, a surprise because you are coming from another uh, environment, then be aware that this is how it works. So we can see that this is, this is pretty terrible. Um, so one of the patterns that um, that Natalie suggested was was this one. So we could go say if falls in. Now we create a list. If falls in condition one, comma condition two, comma condition three, then and and. It looks weird. I, I totally agree. This looks weird, uh, hence the title of the video. But let's let's run this and see what happens. And then I'll explain it. One millisecond. That's pretty good. Okay, so so let let's take a look at this thing for a second here. So, what are we saying that if falls in and then a set. And, and, and here's the weird thing. So most Pascal compilers uh, uh, works with the work with the, the concept of constants. Uh, so so if I um, if I use the in statement, that would be a list of constants. But that is not the case in AL. Again, AL is not Pascal and Pascal is not AL, but there is a great overlap of of syntax, but, but there's a lot of difference in execution and and there's also a, a some subtle differences in, in how things are are um, managed. And in this case, so so Pascal the the in would be you know that would be a, a list of constants but that is not what we have in ale in ale we have a list of expressions so each of these gets evaluated but apparently and 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 and, and since we don't really have a a language definition a a a very specific written down language definition for AL. Uh, AL works the way it's implemented, uh, which is what, what I faced when, when I created the uh, AL compiler interpreter for, for my toolbox app, is, is that, okay, I, I need to figure out how was AL actually doing and behaving. And, and one of the things is that these are expressions. So when evaluating an in statement. If there's a hit that falses in one of these, meaning that the AL compiler or, or the runtime environment will evaluate this, and if this is false, which it is, then there's no reason to trust the other ones. So this is the first weird pattern. Um, and uh, as you can see that it's it's fairly condensed uh, and it's I, I guess it's readable uh, my, my, my my problem with 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 this is that it falls in is 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 backwards uh, almost to the uh, uh, reverse polish notation kind of thing which I kind of enjoy because I think no. I'm a, I'm a I'm a fan of uh, 
reverse polis notation calculators. But but I'm not so sure with the, when it comes to programming languages. I never enjoyed programming fourth, for for instance. Anyway, sidetrack. Sorry, um, but I. This is readable. Um, so so th th this, it's a useful pattern. The other pattern, uh, because I, I, I promised two. The other pattern is the case statement. So we could also do case. And, and in this case, we need to exit. So we, we could, we, let's create a, 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 another procedure here. Um, Let's just, for, for instance, put this into. So, we could, if we could do case falls off, and then we'll do condition one exit. Con and now you're yelling at me because I'm not formatting these lines properly. But uh, when I when I save, then. AL will do the formatting for me. So now, now we can we can either jump out of the. Uh, so we can do if not test then. And let's let's try this. And well, it's also very fast. And you and you can see it's kind of the same. It's it's the same principle. It's it's, it's again a subtle difference between Pascal and AL, because in Pascal the definition of a case statement is that these are constants. Uh, so a potential Pascal compiler can build a jump table and navigate efficiency, efficiently through the case statement. But that's not how AL works. So AL will just start evaluating these because they are expressions also. So if we evaluate this one, if that was not the thing, then it will evaluate this one and evaluate this one. So of course the problem here is is what if we did this? Um well you you know the result now I guess but but we'll do it anyway. So well, that is so. So now the order of um, the the order of the case uh, pieces will determine which one you that is tried first. Um, and in this case, we get we get three evaluated, and that took five seconds. And then oh, we are we're out of this. So so still better than this one. Personally, I, I think the, 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 I know there is a general scare in, 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 in the world program, but, but if not condition one, then if not condition two, then if not condition three, then I don't think we need to be scared of nested uh, if statements. Um, uh, depending on what depending on what we we need to do. Um, of course, it can get complicated, but 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 in in some cases, and I know it's, I did it with the not, so this one is, doesn't really make any any good sense. But but I don't think. The uh, I don't think the nested if necessarily is a bad thing, but it's it's thrown upon in other languages because you you can do it nicely in in a single statement, but it uh, it comes down to readability. I, I I personally think that the the in one is is more readable than 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 doing case. Uh, the case just 
you know, rubs me the wrong way. Uh, uh, in kind of does too, but but I think it's more readable. Um, so I think I would prefer that one. Anyway, those were a couple of uh, of weird patterns in AL that might make your code faster. If you want to look at more AL code, I am sure this video contains a lot of AL hacking. So go check that one out. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.